Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be working on getting as close as possible to a max total level and alongside that, get some cool new PVM items. I really hope you guys will enjoy today's video. Let's get right into it. I have been doing agility for the last, I'd say, four-ish hours or something like that. 3 million agility XP gained from 90 to 94 agility and the reason why I've been just jumping laps is because I was watching golden gnomes and you know what we won the golden gnome for the best new runescape streamer and I would just like to say thank you everyone that voted now you may be a bit confused because my golden gnome was for actual RS3 section and that is because before the leagues I spent about four months I think just streaming RS3 because I enjoyed the game so we won the gnome and I just wanted to say thank you Alright, and here is 95 agility, I'm still running RD course, and I need to do this until I have 260 marks of grace. At that point I can then buy full graceful and never run this course again. So now that I was over 92 agility, I was able to do the last floor in the sepulchre, and there's a lot of tasks in sepulchre that some people might struggle with. However, on my first attempt I did it in 6 minutes and 45 seconds, and on my second attempt I did it in 6 minutes and 30 seconds seconds which is the fastest task that you need to get so I didn't struggle with it at all mainly probably because I have full black graceful in main game alongside the petricolor so I've done a lot of sepulcher and getting this task done that quickly was very nice and we get ourselves some magic seeds elite clue scroll not bad, and uh, decent herbs. Magic seeds are always good as well. Who's the lucky gamer? There he goes, Justiciar Chessguard. Yo, if you're a beast like me, leave it, <laughs> leave it in the, don't even loot it. Forget to click it. Oh, there it is. That's a really nice one. I'd be happy with getting another one of those. You are trolling. You are joking. Hello? This is not boosted rates. I swear this is like 1 in... Is it 1 in 32k by any chance? I wanted to do Abyssal Sire in order to get this because it's much more likely to get it there. But this is 1 in 32,000 drop chance for a 250 points. That is so crazy. Look at what? That was like the last thing I expected. I'm just doing some Abyssal Demons, hoping for some clue scrolls. And there it is, an Abyssal Dagger. That's kind of crazy though. I mean, I do hit it quite hard when it's melee phase, but there it is, the first Sire completion. We'll take it, I definitely need to change my inventory a bit. Scuff is stuff, it's always the case, right? So <gasps> Wait! I had no clue! This is such an amazing drop, actually. This is basically a task right here, two spirit seeds. I'm gonna go plant these, these are amazing. Wait, I was killing Sire in order to like get unsired, maybe finish a bludgeon, you know, maybe get lucky, but I didn't expect to get this drop, which is basically a full task. So I'm gonna go plant this right away. Decent herbs, we'll take that, thank you. All right, good luck boys, this is it. I know it, this is the purple. I believe, I haven't seen a, I think it's, a... is that purple? Yes, it is. Yes, is it? Yes, it is. Nice. Okay. All right. Remember to pick it. I will pick it. Okay. You have my promise. I'm picking it. I just hope it's not another defender. Anything but defender, I'll be a happy man. Come on. Good luck, me. And oh no, 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 no. All I have is defenders, man. <laughs> no. What is this? I'm so sad. Oh well, it is what it is, 1.5 mil alk, we'll take it. We take those. <laughs> Robert gonna get a cabbage, man. <laughs> Three deaths. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, defender. <laughs> Wait, this, he needs it actually. Just this year, face guard. 250 points? Nice. Okay. Casey number 14, boys. We got ourselves the first unsired. Yes. We take those. Okay, so I can get points for getting either a bludgeon. Now, I did get a abyssal dagger of a normal abyssal demon, so we don't want an abyssal dagger. Everything else I think we're fine with. Like, I, I guess we, we would be, like, happy with pet and we'd be happy with bludgeon, right? First unsired. Maybe it's even points. And we get a first bludgeon piece. 250 points for that. That is sick. Nice, two more to go. Here it is, once again, the most important thing in the whole world, to get 100 tiers here. I did not get any quest points since the last time we got 99. Uh, do we need to find like a better world where they are like 
simultaneously changing or something. I don't even know if I can even go in. I swear they buffed it, dude. Last week, bro, my timer was going down so much faster. This is it. Look, I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you they buffed it. I am 100% sure they made it easier. Like last week, I did the same thing and I got 99 with the same... Or maybe I'm just like much more luckier now. Look at this, 123 compared to 99 last week, same quest points. I think they, I think they buffed it a little. But anyways, the most important thing, here it is, the hard diary is completed, and that's not all. With that, I have now officially completed every single diary that I can complete in the Trailblazer League, and that is quite an accomplishment. We will go to Lambridge, claim our rewards, put it all into runecrafting. We are happy gamers, we don't need Draymond stuff anymore. This is very, very nice. Alright, and now for the rewards, what we have been waiting for. Antique lamp number one, antique lamp number two, chuck everything into runecrafting, that's the first one, 240k, that's the second one, 800k, 95 runecrafting, and we only gotta get about 4 million experience, so I'll either get that through ZMI or through earth runes, we'll figure it out, whatever works, but that's gonna be like the last skill I'll train to 99, I think. Nice, kill count 22, another unsired, that's, yes, that's so good, okay, let's hope for the second bludgeon piece, we might be getting insanely lucky here, because the KC for one unsired is one in 33, and we have had two in 22, that's insanely lucky. So a couple of things we'd be okay with, once again, bludgeon piece, a jar I guess would be okay, a pet would be amazing, let's see what do we get. Oh, please be the second piece. Yes, that is really good, that is really, really good, really good. Oh my god, <laughs> another, another one, let's go. Okay, this could be it, this could... <laughs> this could be a completed bludgeon, are you kidding me, 26 KC, please just give it to me so I can go away from this boss and never come back, I'll be a happy gamer. You cannot make this up, please, please be the third piece, and that is all I can ever ask for. No, no, <laughs> no, not this one, anything but, oh, that's tragic, well, I guess we're going back, it, it is what it is. My next 99s that I'm working on are going to be agility and crafting. Now crafting when I'm a little bit more AFK and agility when I'm a little bit less AFK. And there is 96, 3 more levels to go. I had some molten glass in the bank. I also crafted some battle stuff from when we did Sire and... After that, I'll be doing tiaras all the way until 99. Up to 97 crafting, and I'm getting about a million XP an hour, so I should be done in like two hours and a little bit, I think. It's gonna be a very, very good 99 to get out of the way. All right, and here is 98 crafting, one more level to go. I have enough bars already to finish it off, so let's just keep going. All right, it's been about three hours, approximately, of just crafting the tiaras, but now we're chiseling some diamonds, and here it is. A very very good 99 to get, 99 crafting, this one gives us an ability to teleport basically right next to the bank, we're gonna go ahead and get the cape very quickly and look at these stats, I think the next skill I'll move on to is going to be agility. Alright, let's speak to Master Crafter and ask him about the cape, that is fine and there it is, we don't need the hood but this teleport is infinite amount of teleports. Right here, right next to the bank, always the same spot. I'm sure I'm gonna find a lot of uses for it. Very happy with this 99. Let's move on to agility. I have already done, well, almost 500 laps on RD course. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I need 260 marks of grace in order to buy full graceful. But here it is, 97 agility and I'll probably get very close to 99. I think from just getting the marks. So I am approximately two hours away from 99 if I just perfectly clicked this whole thing, but uh, if you glance over on this XP, it's not looking too hot, but that's because I was AFK. All right, and here is 98, and I guess if we get 98, we gotta push for 99. However, as soon as I reach 260 marks, we're gonna be changing our course to the one on a patrol simply because, well, I need 260 for a task, and after that, I do not need to do this course ever again. And we're up to 260 marks, took me from 90 to 98 agility to reach that, and if we speak to Grace, I should be able to buy one of everything and equip everything. 
and that is a 100 point task and what I can do right now is sell everything back because I don't need it, we have infinite run energy and buy a lot of emulase packs that I can then use to train my Herblor. So let's go ahead and sell everything, rest in peace my graceful, was fun having you for 3 seconds and let's just buy the emulase packs. We'll use this to train our Herbler up. If there was something like a task for, let's say, equip a Black Graceful or something like that, I would keep it, but there isn't, so there it is. That's what we have. Eight marks left to spare. 2,000 Amylase Crystal that I can use to create Stamina Potions. I think I'm about to get level 99 Agility over here in the middle of a course. I don't quite know how much XP I get for this one. There it is. 99 Agility is reached in the Trailblazer Leagues. These are the stats. Yet another 99 completed. In the process of doing that, I've also completed 113 laps. In total, I need to do 2,000 of these. Am I gonna do it? Eh... I don't want to, but I think I might give it a shot. Now, if I transform this to a Karamja monkey and wear it, that is also going to be a medium task. Another task is on 500 laps, another on 1500, and then another on 2000 lap completions. I will obviously finish this lap because free experience, not gonna say no to that. And the next skill I'll be moving on. Wow, I'm actually, <laughs> I didn't notice, I'm just three skills away from full max, so... I think I'll be moving on to some prayer. My prayer is lacking a little bit. Um, but I might go for a very slow way of training prayer and do some mithril dragons at the same time in hopes of getting a dragon full helm, which is also a task. Just kidding, I'm about to dump some amylase crystals into super energies to create some stamina potions. And I think there's a task to make 20. I hope this works, like making three doses. If it doesn't work after 20, I'll swap into four doses. Ah, there it is. Make 20 stamina potions. It did end up working. Three extra 100 points there. Very nice. I didn't actually realize I had this many herbs laying around. It mainly comes from TOB and a couple of Toad Flex runs that I've been doing, but up to 93 Herblor. I don't know if I have another level in the bank. Probably not. I also need to really start doing the herb runs. Alright, enough skilling for today. I will be maxing. I think in my next video I'll like really focus on a prayer, a rune crafting, and Herblor. However, today there is one more thing I want to do, and that thing is I want to finish a bludgeon. I think finishing a bludgeon for this video would be a solid way to end it so let's focus on the sire hopefully not get too unlucky and let's finish it off strong kill count number 49 and there it is another unsired could this be it could that be a completed bludgeon let's see i am so lucky on these the kill count is one in 33 and believe it or not i have seen four 4 in 49, that luck is ridiculous. For now, just going for the bludgeon would be absolutely phenomenal. I'm not gonna be wasting any time here, I'm just gonna go straight for it. Let's see if we can get the last bludgeon piece. Yes, there it is. Wow, that is so lucky. That is so lucky. Kill count number 49, we get the last bludgeon piece. We are done with Unsire. Let's go ahead, grab all the pieces and make this beautiful weapon. Now, one thing you haven't seen me do much of yet is to be killing Nightmare. And the reason for that is I was waiting for this moment specifically, the point where we get the bludgeon, to even be doing a lot of Nightmare. So that is going to be extremely helpful. And now we need to speak to this Overseer. I have never made this in my entire life, so this might take me a little bit of time. Hey, that did it. All right, so all I needed to do was speak to the Overseer and he created an Abyssal Bludgeon and I'm just going to thank you and now he dips and now there should be a book on the ground. Perfect, but the most important part, there it is. Boom, the task is completed, 250. And just the way this weapon looks, I think it's one of the coolest looking weapons in the game. And with the bludgeon being done and with a lot of items and skills obtained, this is where I will be ending today's episode. I really do hope you guys did enjoy. If you made it this far in the video, consider giving the video a like. If you are not yet subscribed, it seriously takes no time at all to subscribe and it would help me out tremendously. We are almost at 100,000 subscribers. 
in the next video we are going to be going for that max total which is something i've been passively working towards alongside pvming it's been really fun switching between skilling and pvming in leagues i've been having lots of fun hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos i will be leaving you guys here i hope you had fun and i hope you are all staying safe in these times and i'll see you again very very soon with another video bye bye